Good day beautiful people. In this video an update on our lives here in the northeast of Europe. In February, Jonas started on creating some extra usable kitchen space. This kitchen top needs a drawer underneath the top for extra storage and also a little curtain on the right to hide the milk supplies that are stored here. Recently, I made an investment in a big piece of merino woolen fabric I found in a discount online. It's a heavy fabric, normally used for crafting blankets, but we will use it to provide curtains for our big windows, to give it some extra insulation on cold winter days. On my 30th birthday in the end of February, I spent some hours sowing the first seeds of the season. Tomatoes and sweet peppers found their place in the trays in front of the kitchen. I hope they will grow well here and make use of the first spring sun. Hello there. So I'm going to quickly show you what we had in mind to do in 2024. Uh, we, are not deci we decided to not do like a big giant project this year and to just focus mainly on finishing up all the things that we have started in the previous years and start to beautify the place a bit more. So the first project to tackle in 2024 is to extend our fencing around the garden because our goats are getting inside too easily and we are tired of chasing them out of the garden. It would also be nice to finish this herb garden with stone edges and make it more beautiful and organically looking. We will be hiding the water storage underneath a roof and use some move and weight walls to protect them from the sun. There is still work to be done on the outside of our house. On some places I never came around on finishing the second layer of earth plaster and to fill up the small cracks. It's the same story on the greenhouses, as I need some filling due to shrinkage of drying wood. We will be finishing the filter zone of the pond with stones and plants, so the plastic will be totally invisible. And I'm considering to use this hole here in front of the house and turn it into a fire camp place instead of another water feature. The roses and grapes can use some climbing support to lead them in the right direction and help us shade out the house in the summertime. The biggest project this year will be to finish the solar panel buildings in the right corner of the garden. <laughs> the first section will be a place to shelter our generator, to keep it out of the elements and out of sight. The second section will be a compost toilet, which is much nearer to the house than the one we are currently using. 
and the third section is already turning into a firewood storage. The second building will hopefully get some lightly insulated walls with the light clay straw technique, where we will store some root vegetables and big buckets in the yard, and also garden supplies, jars and other stuff. What we will do with this hole is a bit of a question mark. Perhaps another water feature in another year? The new garden area will be mainly for potatoes and pumpkins this year, using the root stout methods and also making use of the rabbit bedding from the winter to improve fertility here. In February we had the pleasure to welcome visitors staying in our guest house. Jonas' and parents stayed for a week to meet up with the youngest member of the family. As it is their fifth visit already, it's harder to find new spots and trails to discover here on the island. Nevertheless, we had a good time spending time outside together. Now springtime is around the corner, the goats often take themselves out for a little walk around the forest. Trying to get physical work done is a lot harder in this season of life and I need to remind myself to give myself some grace. Things just will go a lot slower. We're still collecting firewood from dead trees from last year's winter storm.
I've been trying to increase my food intake as a breastfeeding mom. I'm drinking a lot of homemade raw milk yogurt at the moment, and I'm also obsessed by this built on recipe. A dried meat snack from local beef that we dry on our stove. It's still very colorless outside, but we can open the windows when the sun is out and the house turns into a sunroom. I'm finally finishing up my latest wood carving project, which was a request from Jonas's brother and girlfriend to envision sort of a future existence for them. It seems to have worked. I've received a new printmaking tool in the mail. A present from one of you that are watching these videos, which make the printmaking go faster with less strain on my hands. So I'm very thankful for that. Two of our lady bunnies are meeting up with the boys today. With the first 20 days on the homestead, I realized there is some preparation to be done soon. This little greenhouse is an absolute mess. Also, it's that time of year we take out all the animal bedding from the sheds, greenhouses and cages that has been collected over the winter time. There is plenty of material this year to make a good amount of compost for the garden. Not only the sun deprived humans are enjoying the first days of sunshine, also the goats and the chickens clearly are having a good time. Zakje. Ik leed. 
Also the greenhouse needs a lot of cleaning up to do this year. There is a massive amount of dusty hay bedding inside and the rabbits have been leaving a lot of hair everywhere. <laughs> I've been checking the yard on multiple places on the homestead and I'm noticing quite some differences. Places where I've put down the rabbit manure and bedding in the past seem to be the most alive and rich. I'm planning on expanding our comfrey collection with a few hundred plants this year. So I'm digging up comfrey from last year and use that to make root cuttings to plant on all the empty spaces in the, per in the perennial beds surrounding the vegetable garden. We noticed they are such a helpful and easy green to feed the animals in the autumn especially the rabbits. It's that time of year again to start milking the goats. So now we have started separating the small ones from their mamas during night time and getting up early to milk the three mama ladies. It's all a bit stressful the first few days as the small ones are not used to the separation and we have two mama goats that have never been milked before. Also, two good friends came over all the way from Belgium to spend time with us here and give a helping hand. I didn't pick up the camera much during their 10 day stay, but it was a wonderful time of connecting, chatting and lots of time spent in the kitchen. With the extra hands of our local friend Sid and her son, we went out and collected seaweed for both our gardens. We set up three compost heaps with the animal bedding and the seaweed.
So that's a little update on our lives here in the forest. All the best to you all listening and watching, and I hope to see you soon. Bye for now.